Who are you? What do you do? What are you doing now? What's important about it? You want the short version or the long version? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kendall Smith. I'm a scientist, uh, first of all, and second of all, a, a educator and a physician. And during the course of my career, I focused on immunology, and I discovered really what is really the first molecule that regulates how the immune system works. And now I'm in the process of trying to help the next generation of young scientists to discover what, what science is all about, how it's done, who does it, how hard it is sometimes, but how wonderful it is, particularly if you make fantastic discoveries. So when I was about 13 or 14, I uh, caddied at the country club that was down the street from my house. My parents were wealthy enough to belong to the country club. And on the weekends, the doctors would come and they would bring their wives. They, they all had two Cadillacs. They belonged to the country club and they had the best looking wives. And I said, I'm gonna be one of those guys. And that's really the truth. And I started, I studied really, really hard. Um, and ultimately was, went to medical school and then through medical school into uh, clinical training uh, in the hospital. And as I progressed through those years, which were about six or seven or eight, I realized as time went on that all of these people that were coming into the hospital with some of the most major diseases like heart disease, heart attacks, cancer, that we didn't have a clue as to what was causing all those diseases. And so one of the things that really pointed me towards science was is that I felt we really needed more information, consequently. Uh, and, and one of the reasons is I was um, sort of shunted into cancer oncology work as a young doctor. And, uh, you know, that was a difficult uh, field, still is because the patients are really sick when they come, and then we were giving them their cytotoxic, our cytotoxic chemotherapy, and then they all died. And I said to myself, there's got to be a better way. So right now, in all my, all my career, what I've been really focused on um, in, in the grander scale is to see if I, I can't make uh, science understandable to the to the common person uh, not only what science is but who does it how does it work how does it progress why it's important for us today and I'm now focused on uh, writing in hopes of educating or educating young people the, the really the next generation of people who are gonna become the scientists of the, of the world. And that's so important because if you think about it for a second, if we didn't have science, we wouldn't have progressed beyond the caveman stage, really, because all of the, all of the um, new things that have happened in the world in the past thousands of years are really because of science.